All right, take 175 of the voiceover. Um, a warm welcome to you, dear viewer. It's me. I'm finally starting again. It's a fresh start of me making videos. I feel like I'm finally this far where I can make like a a painting or or a piece of art that's finished in my eyes. So. I'm really happy to start sharing these peaks into the process itself. This particular project took me to a very small island in Estonia called uh, Vormsi. And I didn't really know this entire time of how this like painting was going to turn out, so I just let it guide me to wherever and I ended up in a mystical place in a deep old forest called the Lump of Limestone, Huitberg. I have a, a long history with that place. I really enjoyed the environment there with the random like rock patterns and it just feels like the nature is dancing. Like no one's watching. And it's uh, always a, a pleasure to be a part of that party. Been there many times just to like meditate and take in the environment that it's making me miss it a lot at the moment to be honest so this was the initial setup i brought my big boy acrylics which i ended up using mostly i also got the baby acrylics with me which i never ended up using some brushes and some water in which I only drank the water because I decided to use my fingers. And then I forgot to bring a color mixing palette, so I got a piece of Huitberg bark instead. So, as you can see, the initial way I set up the painting was definitely, like, aesthetically pretty cool, but you can see it's really flimsy and I was uh, trying to rock it, trying to make it work, but it was, uh, I believe it was just not meant to be that way. But the decision to relocate was definitely crucial to the way the painting uh, turned out in the end because as I was sitting closer to the canvas uh, it got a lot more intimate and I felt more connected with the painting and I felt a lot more comfortable as well. The angle aesthetically looks way cooler as well in my opinion. But the reason that you see a big splotch of red, yellow and white going in the middle of the canvas was because the initial painting was, uh, in my opinion, uh, pretty uninspired. Uh, kind of dull, boring. Um, if I could pinpoint anything in this painting, I think it just looked like a, a cartoon character took a bunch of LSD and was just looking around a, a bland landscape. So it just... Uh, let go of the the like feeling of trying to control how the painting was going and just went at it with my hands. So it was created on a span of two days. The first day was freaking awesome because it was really warm in the forest for some reason so I just took out my jacket right away and felt like I was I was at home. The paint was still super cold, uh, as I kept like dipping my finger into the ice cold puddle of paint, it, it took my... Um, eventually it took my body temperature down a lot. But as I started out, then I was like just diving into the face and into the depth of the painting, I just completely forgot myself and I was definitely in a meditative state for, for this entire painting. And as I kept adding the black, I think it already set the tone of the character itself. Well, it's usually, it's always the same. Like it's going to be a, a madman, <laughs> a portrait of a madman. Possibly me, possibly someone's relative, someone's dad. Someone's mom, hopefully not. But yeah, um, as I was adding more and more of the black, the 
background started to uh, annoy me a lot more. So I just decided to flip the canvas and just try to fill out the the old out with the old and in with the new. I think it was a really good decision to just just start fresh, just uh, forget about the last one, not leave any like remnants of it as I was already creating something new and it definitely gave me like a confidence boost like yeah this is happening this is really going on I'm doing this so yeah as the old blue and green colors were gone I already felt it like felt it growing It was already taking shape. Here you can really see that I didn't I was just messing around. I didn't have a specific technique in mind or specific uh, detail that I was uh, trying to work on even though I was wrestling with the nose and the lips and the uh the darker the left eye for the longest time because you know, you're basically drawing with a goddamn hot dog on your hand. Just a sausage brush. But I was making it work. It was a ton of fun because just the environment of Wheatberg is always so mesmerizing to me, so... Just having a blast. And being away from the city life of the noise and the faster pace of life, it definitely made me chill out a bit. I, I wasn't expecting like results from it, not that day, not the next day. I was just going at it full force and not rushing anything, just having, having fun. I added the mustache because I was obviously having a lot of trouble with the lips. They were not manifesting as I was hoping, and it was just like a black hole for now. But the mustache definitely gave it a bit more shape and grounded the uh, upper lip. At this point it was kind of getting colder, so I just wanted to get some more body to it at the end and that was it for the first day time to pack my bags and i managed to get some cool shots as i was leaving as well of like the painting traveling back with me so there we go making our way back There's some random like lines here and there. We'll get to that in a bit. I'm gonna revisit it on the next day. But I started off the next day by going to our local two springs to get some good spring water and to just try to get the day rolling. It was uh, raining, a lot more overcasty and colder, but it didn't stop me. I was still at a very very deep mindset of just wanting to get at it with this painting but I I I was calm I was collected I started it out with washing my face at the first spring and making my way deeper into the forest to get the drinkable water in the back it started uh, stopped raining for a while so as I got there I uh, just enjoyed I got the task out of the way. Got the required H2O. And I just felt really 
at peace with everything at that time, so I decided to finish up a quick sketch that I started the night before as well. But it started raining hard, so I just added some marker lines and called it a painting, or like a drawing. But I made my way back, got my canvas and took my paints and made it, made my way back to Huitberg. Because everything was super wet, I didn't want to get my butt wet, so you just have to bear with me with the ridiculous uh, yoga exercise that is my painting technique for that day. It was a really unique experience with uh, painting with acrylics because they kind of felt like oils. Um, the water constantly on the canvas uh, didn't let the paint dry, so as I add, added color to a speci specific place I could like revisit it five minutes later and it was still ready to be smudged around, so I, I, I thought it was a, a pretty interesting and new um, new way of painting for me. Just to take it like even slower than I did originally. Here I'm kind of working on the bleached eyebrows and trying to get the nose to be not like a potato. And I got some wonderful green tea with me. A peppermint tea with some Oh my god, I don't know the names of old traditional Estonian medicine plants, so... Just some witch tea, let's call it that. But yeah, here you can see the wrestling part with the eye. It kept getting darker, It he still seemed like a madman and not the kind that belongs outside of a mental asylum, so... I was not pleased with the eye. I was trying to give it some time to like dry, dry out and maybe try again, but you'll see a minute here. The lips were juicy. I love it. Here I'm going at it with the eye and oh my god, it happened. I smudged it all up and I was feeling like garbage for a minute there. But there was this point where I just let loose with the eye because I just found out that, yeah, as I'm like putting more and more focus and effort into it, it just kept flying away from me. So I added another pupil added some red into it and I just felt really bad, like, I'm sorry, dude. Took a break, had some tea, recollected myself and as soon as the final part of this painting starts, then I really, really, really just learned how to let the painting flow itself. Here I was getting done with the forehead, with the background. And then there's this small little yellow flame starting to emit from the eye. Started spreading a bit. And I was already like... I felt like it was a home run. I was like on the final home stretch and... I was like, yes. This painting knows what's going on. I have no clue what's going on. Let's just have fun with it. Kept adding some more black just to make it like feel deeper. And now it's time for my super secret, te uh, secret technique. My collaboration with Wheatberg. Whacking the freaking canvas against some bushes, let's go. Boom. A professional. The randomness that it adds and the chaotic, like, strong, certain lines, it added structure to the entire thing. I was already really happy with it. I remember, like, the nose was starting to uh, fall off a bit, but I just kept going. 
it looked so cool, so good. Now I just slam dunked it for good measure. And after a small uh, evaluation, I was like, no, 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 no. I need to add some more. So I shaped up the nose and then I got in touch with my primal barbaric roots and started whacking the painting like it was some sort of witch or like a sauna partner or someone who needed a whacking. But the sticks there were like failing on me. <laughs> they just kept breaking after like every fifth swing. So I always had a new brush or a, a new tool to advance the painting. Here you can really see the flame itself like softening up and starting to flow like a part of it. And I kept like falling more and more in love with it. I knew that the eye was already a completely forgotten aspect of the painting and I was just focusing on the on the funky energy like emitting from it. Didn't stop me from still going back to the background for a while and trying to add more texture to make it a bit more interesting. To be honest, I was having uh, the time of my life. I lost all the stress and the, maybe the anxiousness of this being my first video and stuff. And I was just honestly being a child again, as I always am. But that's where the mask came off. I found an acorn. No, 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 not an acorn. <laughs> Half of a pine cone. And it turned out to be the coolest, like, natural brush. You can really see it, the combing effect here. It really spread out the... Um, spread out the black a bit on the lighter side of the forehead and at the same time added a lot of, like, fine detail. Which you really just can't get with a finger. I mean, you need to have, like, five feet fingernails or something and just start scratching your painting, but that's kind of like, makes me cringe just to like think about it. And as I was trying to shape the eye, there's just more and more of that energy just flowing out of it. And that's the part where I was like, oh yeah, I think it's almost ready, but I had the slight feeling of the yellow not like fitting very well there. So I just, uh, <laughs> I kept going. Decided to pull out the brush for a minute, but I gave, gave up with it relatively fast and uh, used a rock to write the number 22 on the painting, which I still have no idea why I'm doing it, but it just feels right. That's my age as well right now. Possibly has to do something with that. But here I decided on uh, taking it back and possibly coming back for the third day, but as I was going back, it, uh, there were some signs of me just not wanting to quit. And I think this is one of the like most surreal shots I got with the camera. As I was trying to get like the traveling back shots, it... it uh, Whossa! Woo! It fell as I was dropping the camera. So as I was making my, uh, my way back, I decided to make another stop and completely change the yellowness of the... Uh, flowing guy Got a nice uh, perch I'm Not sure if it's a perch like a Christmas tree branch and Started whipping I was in a dilemma if I wanted to make the color of the flowy energy thing like reddish or 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 black But as you can see like it quickly became apparent that black was the way to go.
at this point I think I was still having like minor doubts so I maybe decided to add a bit too much red and here I was like god damn it's gonna take more time than I thought but luckily it started working with me real fast Flipping the painting definitely helped it uh, move the way it wanted yep, to. Viimane. Just got some black and as I was starting to pull up, it really got the, the like those sharp lines going upwards. Just what I was looking for. I knew the painting was finished at this point. Oi blah, it's a fucking lahe. Oi blah. Oi blah. Oi bla, yeah yeah yeah. Oi bla, oi bla, se on valmis. Se on valmis. Oi bla, vaatu seda. Oh my goodness. Let's go there. Nüüd se on valmis. Ja ei kripeltama see kollane. And now all I had to do was make my way back. Oh my god, Tavai! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god! Honestly, I was uh, over the moon at that point. It's definitely the, one of the coolest projects I've ever done. And I'm happy you could join me. And hopefully more to come and you'll join me on the next one as well. See you!